name is Caroline Carey Blazak, and my rank when I retired was AVCM, so I was an avionics master chief. I went to Pax River, Maryland, there you go, because when I came in, I was a Navy Wave, the last group, and they did not allow us to go overseas at that time. Uh, we were, certainly weren't on a ship, and uh, the billets overseas were very limited. I joined uh, right uh, at the end of the Vietnam War, beginning of April. Uh, I got, I joined uh, to get, and I actually joined to be a printer. Uh, didn't get that. They handed me a cup of coffee in boot camp in my last week. Gave me, um, what did they give me? A list of aviation rates because they had just opened up the, this is back in April of 75. Um, I joined in the end of December in 74, but I had to wait because they only had so many women's uh, billets. So I waited till April, I joined, and in April of 75, I was, I, I became, I went into boot camp. And I was all the way through boot camp when I found out that I couldn't be a printer. And they said, well, here's a cup of coffee, here's the aviation rates that are open, do you want to do that or do you want to go out? And I said, oh, hell no. I just put all this time into the boot camp. So um, I originally had to, uh, um, a contract for six years, and I was going to be an E4 out of boot camp or something like that out of school. And they, want, they said, if you do five years, you can do, uh, be an AE. And I said, well, that makes sense. And I ended up being an E4 out of boot camp anyway, or shortly after school, I guess. So in the end, it worked out. I think the waves actually disbanded sometime in 73 or 74, there was a letter out. But because they had all these uniforms, and because they had all this extra stuff, and they weren't ready with new uniforms for us, and they didn't have any officers at the time, they, they left us as waves. So I joke about the fact that I was pinned, if you look at the Navy wave uh, insignia, that's, I had a Navy, a, a chief's anchor along with a propeller as part of that. If you can find one, you want to put that in as a picture. But it, it's got a name. So I was, I joked that I was pinned before um, I ever became a chief. I was a chief the day I came in is what I joke about. And so why else would I be anything else, right? I picked aviation and electricity because I knew nothing about either. The biggest thing I was excited about was they caught me because I was supposed to go to California. That was a mistake. And they said to, to go to the Framp School. Then I was going to come all the way back to Pax River. So what they did was they said, no, go to Memphis. So I went to Memphis and then, and then I ended up at Pax River. And that was my, that's where I stayed. Um, when I was here, we were still Navy Waves. And sometime in 70, eight or 79, I can't remember now, they changed over to the black uniform, and the guys had the black and white shirt, you know, the ice cream shirt they called it, and all that, the, they had the white shirt, the black pants, all that stuff. And when they changed over that uniform is when they made us Navy Waves, okay? And the first group of women out of the academy was 1980, okay? And in 1980 is when I, I got off active duty from Pax River, and I think that was in April, and then in like, I don't know, September, October, November, sometime, is when I found out they, that I had made first class. And one of the chiefs that was over at the Fleet Reserve Association, because I was just going to school down here at the time, and, um, and I was working for Dyn Electron. Um, but one of the chiefs was at the Fleet Reserve, and he said, his name was Ken Looney, and he was actually first class at the time. And he goes, wow, you should come over, because we got a billet for you. I said, we need a billet for me. How do you know that? He goes, because I was in here the other day drinking with you, and I checked you out, you know, and I'm like, and he said, you passed. And I know you passed. I passed the first class exam with a .33. Go figure. Back, they still do it. They, they take your exam number plus your 
so much of your uh, fit reps and they do some magic number thing and they come up with something. In order to be a first class petty officer, you had to get a 183 point, and I got a 183.333. I, that, and that's so, they said, you gotta come over, you gotta do this. So that's what I did. So that's how I ended up in 68.